What's up guys, Mr. Fitz, I'm here. So, a little review for you today of the Coilat D-Pro RDA, drip like a pro, whatever a pro drip's like, don't know. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at the black one today. did have the Ultim one, but I gave that to a friend. Uh, I'll leave his link down below to his YouTube channel. I think he's going to review the Ultim one, so we'll see. Uh, Vape Don't Smoke, he's a great guy. Watch him, give him a little subscribe as well. Um, I will say, today, I stay in air, right next to the beach, it's kind of sunny-ish, the seagulls are out in force, so if you can't hear most of the video, please send an air rifle to Mr. Fatslim at goingfuckingnuts.com, please. Uh, <laughs> they're doing my head in. I had me up the whole night with a yucking, yucking, oh, it's doing my head in, but yeah. Let's go and review this. We'll take you down for a little close up, show you what you get in it, show you the coil that I've got in it, and then we'll come back up for some FaceTime. So guys, if the seagulls let me get speaking, you'll see that this is the box that the D-Pro RDA comes in, Drip Like a Pro. Uh, on the bottom, it tells you all the places you can get coil art, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. Uh, on the top, it tells you the bunch of colours you can get. Uh, so far I've only seen the black, the silver, and the Ultim, I've not seen any of the other ones, but I would love the purple one or the golden one. I think they would look cool. Uh, <coughs> I did get the black one and the Ultim one. Today we're going to be looking at the black one because the Ultim one I sent to a friend. Uh, Vape Don't Smoke, he'll probably review that, so keep an eye on his channel, link down below. Then on the back, if you a scratch and check authenticity thing. And there's the seagulls going again. <laughs> then you've got your bunch of kind of contents. Now it did come with two fused Clapton coils. The Clapton coils that Coil Art make are fantastic. I can't get that across enough. I love those coils and I'm going to buy a big kind of box of them. Um, but it does come with them and it also came with I think it was four strips of cotton and they were cut perfectly to already be just put straight into the RD, into the coils themselves. Perfect match up with the inner diameter as well. And the coils that came with it were also cut perfectly lengthwise for fitting into the postless deck as well. <coughs> Pardon me. So yeah, we'll get this out and then we'll show you a little bit more about it. So you get the RD itself, we'll get to that in a little second. You get your little bag of goodies. Now in here you get some spare o-rings, some spare grub nuts and you get your squonk pin. Now the squonk pin, I'll show you just now. I really, really like this squonk pin. A lot of companies don't do what they've did here, and I really like it. If I try and focus in here, focus, you bastard. Is it going to focus? No. Anyway, <laughs> the <coughs> little cut out here, it's, it's flat, and then it's an Allen key that fits in it. So you're guaranteed you're not going to get as much leakage. Usually if they kind of get a slit across it like a, a flat headed screwdriver then sometimes it's going to leak out into your 510 threading. This minimalises that which I like so yeah, got that. I have used it in squonk setup but today we're going to be using it just in normal mode. And as I say it is an allen key so you get your allen key here which is for your squonk pin and for your deck itself. If we take this out <coughs> you'll see it does say, it shows you a picture, you can get it in single coil or dual coil mode and easy just to drip straight through. So yeah, drip like a pro. So push all this crap off and then we'll bring in the RDA. Now, I'll we'll start off at the bottom. D-Pro, designed by Coilart. Uh, I think it's a gold plated five, uh, brass 510 pin, if I remember correctly. And... I use a flat head to get this off, don't use a star head, uh, use a flat head and it will come out no problem. Um, once that comes out and you put your squonk one in, your squonk one sits perfectly flush as well which is nice. Um, so yeah, <coughs> on the top you've got your 810 or gun size drip tip, D Pro engraved in it, now that is engraved in it so you can feel that. Some bits of it are sharp, some bits aren't. I personally don't like the drip tip that comes with it. I've been using different ones, but the thing I do like about this strip tip is, you'll see it's got a little cut out there. 
that's for matching perfectly in to your little o-ring that sits in there so yeah I do love that about it and if I get this over just to take the top cap off so your top cap says coil art on it and it's engraved so you can feel that as well it's a kind of anodized aluminium that's the finish that's on it it's really really there's no weight to it at all i mean if you take the drip tip off you wouldn't think there was anything in your hand that's that light i mean it really is i feel as if if you squeeze it it's going to bend so uh, i do wish they would make a thicker kind of top cap for it i have had issues but we'll go over them up at the face time so you get your two air slots one there one there and you can close them off if you like. Uh, inside, hopefully you get a good look at this if I focus in. If, on the inside, it kind of, it doesn't kind of concave as much as I would like it to. Like it doesn't go into a kind of cone shape as much as I would like it to. But it does, and it's just a really little bit there. I don't know how well you're able to see it. But yeah, the top cap isn't the best, but I mean it's... It feels really cheap, to be honest with you. Uh, there's no machining issues with it or anything, it just feels really cheap. But we'll put that aside just now, and then we'll get the RDA over. So, this is your deck here. Uh, focus, your bastard. This is your deck here. Um, I must say, I've had fun with this, I love it. Uh, putting a load of different builds in here, trying it out. So, as you see, it's a postless deck, so there's just four little holes on the bottom of the deck, and that's where you put your coils into. <clears throat> now, the way I've been doing it is, uh, if i got a coil here, well, I'll, I'll just use the Allen key. What I've been doing is, say you've got your coil here, you want to sit your coil here, and then you trim the legs, the length of the body here, and it's a perfect match for that. Yeah, that's the way I've been doing it. So your Allen key fits in there. That's where your Allen key is and that tightens and loosens the little posts. Same on this side as well, down here. Double O-rings. Now the O-rings aren't the best. They're really thin and as you see I've cut mine up a couple of times. That was with the Ultim cap. But the O-rings aren't the best. They could be doing with being a, a lot thicker in my opinion. Um, so you see on here, if I get the screwdriver, on here is your positive block and then this is your negative side. Your airflow comes in at each side here. Now it does go in, oh, if I can, it does go in straight but it does go down as well. So when it goes in it's forcing the cell down and then it hits the bottom of the deck and then comes up and hits your coil. That's the way I prefer it. I have seen a lot of people put their builds a lot closer to the deck. I'm really not keen on that. I like having it a big gap underneath. So if you look in, you can see the bottom of the deck. That's the way I like it and I think that's the best flavour you're getting off it. Um, you can put single or dual coils in it. This one here is a big 3mm. This is twisted wire which has then been clapped in. So it is really thick wire. I mean, it's really, really thick. Uh, <laughs> it's abnormally thick and it fits in there fine as well. If anything, I would say the post holes here could be doing with being a little bit wider that way. Uh, long Lengthwise, they're perfect, but if they were the same going across this way, it'd be a lot better as well. So yeah, let me shove some cotton in here and we'll get this bad boy started. So, you need to bear with me, I'm not used to doing this on camera because I suffer quite badly from the shakes and usually I don't do things on camera like this because I get embarrassed quite a lot with it. <laughs> so, what we're going to be using today is some of the Anger Rabbit, or Angora Rabbit cotton. Uh, this is it here. If I shove this out of the way. This is it here. So it's more or less just like cotton bacon. Supposed to be fire resistant and all that stuff, but I don't really test it for that. I just test for the taste. So I'll put this through. And that 
so it's perfect. Now the way I've been cutting the coil, eh, the coil, the cotton, is just with the exact same length of the body. See if you can line up and then just outside the body, give it a little snip. So you're talking, you want it like that. That's the way I've been doing it. So it is. If I grab this cotton, do the same. And then <coughs> with the cotton, all I've been doing is just pushing it ever so slightly in. I mean, be gentle. You still want it to have a nice fluff about it. So just place it inside the deck. It's not the deepest of decks, so a lot of people can be put off that. But I think it's perfect once you've got your cotton in there. And try to do this on camera as a bitch. So, if I tilt my head round. So, you, as I say, you just want it loosely in. You don't want to pack it in. So, just place it in, more or less, and then just give it a little tiny push down. And then make sure there's none in front of your air holes. Fluff it about a wee bit so it's nice and fluffy. And then it's going to pick up all the juice, no bother at all. So yeah, that's the way I've been working it and coiling it just now. <coughs> As I say, I have been testing a lot of build, builds out on it. This is the first I'm going to be using this one. I've just put this on this morning and I haven't even vaped it. So we'll test this coil out and see what it's like. So yeah, back up for some FaceTime. So guys, that was the Coil Art D Pro up close. Now, a couple of things I forgot to mention when I was down there was it's a 24mm diameter, so it's 24mm round. The height, I think it's including the drip tip, is 36mm. 24 uh, karat gold plated, as I was saying. You get your bottom feeding pin, and again, style drip tips as well, which is excellent. Your peak insulator in there comes in all those different colours as well. Now, Another thing I forgot to say was your airflow. Now, as you see, I only put one coil in there. If I tighten this up a bit, I put one coil in there. So obviously, you would think, well, you only need one air hole, but you don't get the choice to use just one air hole, which doesn't bother me personally. You can adjust your airflow. So as you see, you can see more of the gold deck and then less of it. So you can adjust it, but whatever you adjust on this side is going to be the same on that side. So what we'll do, I'll just use the standard drip tip that comes with it to show you what I think of it. So both air holes fully open and we'll got this at 0.28 so we'll start off at 100 watts just to see what it's like. So. A bit warm. Now I'm using Desired Desserts by Exceptional Vapes, it's the Jam Tart, um, I'll turn this down a little bit, that was a bit hot, I'll try 72 watts. Did you hear that? Quite loud. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll turn it a, a fraction. still quite loud. Uh, this is why I've, I don't like using it in single coil mode. Um, a lot of people say, oh but it's a single coil RDA, that's absolutely nonsense, it's not. Um, I've seen people say it's only a single coil RDA, which again is just nonsense. This RDA comes out in the suit's best dual coil RDA, eh, dual coils, because with dual coils the airflow is perfect, especially if you if your coils are sitting just below, or sorry, just above the air holes, so that your, your air is coming in and just trimming the bottom of the coils and then it's hitting the deck and coming straight back up. That's the way I like it. Um, so if I adjust the airflow again, we'll leave them kind of half opened on each side. And yeah, that's a bit better. It's still a bit, still a bit loud, but nothing too bad. Uh, price wise, price wise, I've seen this on Evolution Vaping over in the UK for twenty two pounds. 
well, twenty one pound odd, but twenty two pounds for this little RDA. Uh, I'll let you know at the end if I think it's worth it or not. But first, we'll go through some positives and negatives. Um, negatives for me is the O rings on the bottom of the deck. There's two O rings, right? And if I grab my drip tip and I turn, it's turning the deck. It's turning the top cap. The top cap is so so loose. I mean, right. Usually I can pick up my RDA, it's my, my mod with the RDA, but it just comes straight off. I mean, there's there's no resistance there whatsoever. It just slides on and off, and I'm barely touching that. So it pops off and on far too easy. With the Ultim one, I never had that issue. With the Ultim one, if anything, it was super tight. It did chew up one of my O-rings. Which is a, a bit of a negative, but you do get spares. But the O rings need improvement. Uh, the cap, the top caps, I think, do need to be a bit thicker. I know it's aluminium, but I wish we would make them out of stainless steel, if anything. Uh, just to have that little bit more weight to it as well. I know what they were trying to do, but they're trying to keep it cost effective. But it's far too thin. I mean, I feel as if. If you squeeze that, it's just going to bend right out of shape. It's super, super thin. Uh, I like the deck. The post holes are great. If anything, the only thing I've ran across is I wish they were a tiny bit thicker. Uh, they're the perfect length. I just wish they were a bit thicker. That's all. Then you could fit all sorts of wire in there. That being said, I've used the fused Claptons that came with it. I've used Flapton wire from Chaos. Um... I've used normal wire, whether it be cantho, stainless steel, and all different gauges, all the way down to 20. I've also used parallel 20 gauge, which is fit in there fine as well. Um, a, a single parallel coil. And now I've got that thing in there, and that's thick wire. But there is other wires that I've got that I haven't fitted in it. I, I think it was a juggernaut coil or something that's called... I got that into review and that's not fitting it, so that's a bit of a negative as well. Um, but yeah, that's the only negatives I can think of. The drip tip isn't my cup of tea, but I've heard other people say they love it. Uh, personally, I prefer taking it out and putting in my little fast tick drip tip, my little purple one. Uh, I just prefer that. It's wider and it just it feels nicer. So, positives. The positives, the flavour on this thing is truly amazing. It really is. It is fucking beautiful. <sighs> My favourite RDAs to this point were the Recoil RDA, uh, the BMI Goldie, which was a fantastic one as well, and my Goon 1.5 clone that I got from Knucklehead Vapes. I've got a review of that coming up this week as well. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Those were my favourite drippers for flavour. This one kind of beats some of them. Uh, the recoil, I think it's kind of on par with the recoil, to be honest, and the goon. I'd say, if anything, for flavour, this is kind of more fine-tuned than the goon. Uh, you're tasting flavours that you don't get in the goon. Um, and the fact that... A lot of people are saying you need to be careful with dripping and stuff. I can drip straight in there and I've never had an over drip. Well, once I had an over drip, sorry, I was outside and it was the autumn top cap I had on but I didn't know I was sitting at a kind of angle dripping it and then it came out the side. But if you're just dripping normally, it's perfect. It really is. So if I drip it just now, it just goes straight in there and it just hits. If you've got two coils that are sitting like that with when you've got two coils in i suggest pushing them as close to the airflow as you possibly can um it just creates less kind of turbulence less turbulent airflow and if you do that then your coils are going to sit like that and then when you drip in the juice it's just going to drip straight in and spread out evenly it's perfect with the single coil one it drips in hits your uh, coil spills down and evens it sell out to the cotton on both sides which is amazing squonking with it excellent as well as long as you leave your cotton nice and fluffy in there don't get any near the air holes it soaks up fine it's perfect um, I've never had any issues with over squonking or anything as well and 
Yeah, perfect. Uh, the size of it is a t dinky little thing, I love it. The only thing I do have to mention is the top cap, depending on what coils you've got in there, after a while do tend to get hot. But don't most RDAs, so you can't really complain about that. Um, looks wise, I love it. I think it just it goes great with a lot of things. Uh, I've got a Boxer uh, Squonker clone coming. I'm looking forward to having this on it. Uh, I think it would look quite nice. So we'll see how that looks. But yeah, overall for twenty two pound, I highly highly recommend getting this. I love it, especially if you're wanting to get your first Squonking RDA. And you've already used postless decks, I'd say go for this one. It's perfect, it really is. Uh, but yeah, that's all I can think of, guys. Thanks very much for watching. A huge, huge thank you to Coilat for sending it out. Uh, I'll leave a link down below as well for Vape Don't Smoke. I think he's going to do a review of the Ultim one, so check that out as well. But thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.